Hi, and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you the Peanut Mini Jig from Intelligent Fixings. It can do all these components, peanut, dowel, and a loose tenon. I'll be showing you some of its features and how to do each of these components. So what you get with your Mini Jig, get a set of instructions. This shows you how to do a peanut joint, a dowel, and a loose tenon. The jig comes in this nice nylon bag. There's an accessory bag, and inside this one you've got your six millimeter drill bit and stop, your six millimeter drilling bush, four millimeter Allen key, your gravity studs, and two fixing bolts. You have your main jig body, and this is the jig fence. So the peanut two connecting system, you have these two components, your peanut two and peanut two short. The peanut two is a six millimeter hole, 13 millimeters deep. And your peanut two short is a five millimeter hole, four millimeters deep. With your jig, you get the six millimeter drilling bush. That does your peanut too. And as an extra, you can get a five millimeter drilling bush for your peanut too short. The second part of the system is your is the slot, and that's the cutter. The cutter comes in three sizes, half inch, 12 mil, and eight mil. It's a simple router motion to create this keyhole slot. It's down, cross, back, and out. And that, that allows the peanut just to slide in and self-clamp into the slot. And for both components, it's the same cutter. So your peanut two is perfect for your 90 degree joints. It just slides together and self-clamps. And your peanut two short is perfect for your face-to-face -face fixings. And your compound mitres. The jig can also do dowels. With the jig, you get your six millimeter drilling kit. That does your six millimeter dowel. You can also buy extra drilling kits. Your five millimeter for your five mil dowel. 8mm for your 8mm dowels and your 10mm for your 10mm dowel. The jig can also do a loose tenon. You just need a straight tool, 5mm for your 5mm, 6mm for your 6mm, 8mm for the 8mm tenon and 10mm for your 10mm tenon. We recommend using an up shear because it draws the dust up into your extraction and pulls it out of the slot. So I'm going to show you a basic setup using the mini jig. I've got a quarter inch router, got my 30 millimeter guy bush already in it. Can't be more than a projection of nine mil. I've pre-sensored all this. We will do a more detailed video of how to set your router up in the future. So I'll make sure my stops are out of the way and the base is plunging. Then I'm going to use these three points to set the gauge. So I just plunge it up to there, lock it off, and using my stop, push that up to there, lock that off, release, and the router is ready to go. Okay, to set up your drill bits on your mini jig, what you do is you use the depth gauge on the tip of your slot to set up your peanut two and the six millimeter drill bit. So using the edge of the depth gauge, sliding the tip of the drill bit up to that part of the slot. Using your Allen key, just lock that in position. Six mils ready to go. And for your peanut two short, I'm going to use the edge of the jig here in this line. So your five millimeter drill bit at the stop, 
use the edge of the jig and that line, tip of the spear, just locking the Allen key in position. And your five mils ready to go to. The first thing I do is mark a center line. I then insert the gravity studs for my end slots. I want the slots to go from front to back. Make sure you clamp the jig firmly to the panel. Then start the router and with a smooth routing operation, route the slots. When routing the center slots, make sure to line the jig up with the correct notch. On the opposite end of the panel, switch round the gravity studs and repeat the process in the opposite direction. When putting slots in the centre of a panel, mark a line where you want the slots to go. For the end slots, I can use the gravity stud. Line the jig using the centre line and eye in the line through the centre of the jig slots. Clamp and screw the jig in position. Here I can't use a clamp so I screw the jig using a 3.5 20mm screw. The screw holes will be covered by the panel when joined together. For end drilling, once again mark a clear sensor line and for the end holes use the gravity studs. Insert the drilling brush making sure it's the right way round. This should be the thinner part of the slot indicator. Then firmly hold the jig in position or use a clamp if preferred. When drilling the sensor hole, line the jig up with one of the notches and make sure the drilling brush lines up with the same notch.
When inserting the P-nut, set the torque on your drill so not to over tighten the screws. Lock in the P-nuts. Been using a 3.5 by 50 millimeter screw or a 6 by 2 inch screw, screw the peanuts in. Screw sizes can vary depending on the application. And finally, assemble your panels, making sure they all go nice and flush to the edge. Apply glue if you are looking for a more permanent fitting, and if you would like to adjust the tightness of the joint, you can do so by adjusting the screw tightness. Mark where you would like the peanut slots to go. Here I'm using two panel parts to support the jig because they are narrow pieces. Then line the jig up using the notch. I'm using a combination of screwing and clamping to machine this part. Always check you're using the correct length screw when fixing. For the end slots, I can use the gravity stud. When drilling, mark where you want the peanuts to go and use the gravity stud for the end hole. Here I am fixing the jig to the workpiece. Then using the 5mm drill bush and making sure it's towards the thinner part of the slot indicator, drill your hole. With the peanut too short, you should be able to simply just push them in without needing to hammer. And once again, when it comes to screwing them in, make sure not to over tighten them. Recommended screw size, 3.5 by 30 millimeters or six by inch and a quarter. Again, this can vary depending on application.
start by marking where you want your dowels to go. Insert the gravity studs. Clamp the jig firmly and start drilling. Make sure you put the drilling brush to the thinner side of the slot indicator. When drilling a centre line, line the jig with a notch and fit the drilling brush to the same notch. When machining a loose tenon, start by marking where you want the tenon to go. For the end tenons, I will use the gravity studs. I position the studs in the internal holes. Then clamp firmly and machine. When doing the centre tenon, I line the jig with the centre part of the slot, not a notch. Repeat the process when routing into the end of a panel, making sure to route deep enough depending on the length of the tent. Always make sure the clamp is firmly fixed to your workpiece. Here I've clamped the panel to the top of the workbench And here, I've clamped the panel to the side of my workbench. Make sure you're comfortable when using the router and make sure the panel and jig are well secured.
hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave in the comments. For more information, visit our website. Thanks for watching.